Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum is doing basically what we want, what we wanted. Uh, it did now enter the yellow support area and already recovered quite a bit, but <clears throat> so far it's just retesting this 38.2 retracement level from below. In my last video yesterday late, um, I highlighted to you that a drop is preferred at the moment. The only um, the only point where I would have to change my view is if price breaks and sustains above 1918 that would signal that an alternative trend is playing out and that we before we drop into the yellow support area we get a higher b wave that would be the alternative wave count but it seems further away than ever um, with yesterday's price drop now bitcoin hasn't followed through yet ethereum however has dropped quite significantly and is following the path to the downside i already shared with channel members a sub wave count for that um, which is still valid but overnight, the recovery was um, quite significant. So I don't think the drop is necessarily impulsive. It looks more like an ending diagonal if you're wondering why the third wave is counted as an ABC. Um, this means that it's not clearly impulsive, which means there are there is a lot of room for interpretation for the micro count. For example, we could also be looking at a WXY structure in which this is an ABC. So just want to highlight that we have to expect the wave count to change. I might need to make some changes to the micro count here. I mean, so far we've been very patient with ETH. The patience re uh, was rewarded. The patience paid off. We were waiting for five waves up. We were waiting for a drop into the yellow support zone. So all of that happened. It's pretty much following a script. It's just that on the very micro level, I don't have a great visibility of the sub waves because, again, it is not impulsive. Um, while this move was impulsive, and I think it did exactly what it needed to do. Um, we then had a situation where the B wave was a little bit weak, but that's not unexpected in a B wave. B waves can be very short, very long. I did highlight that they were very unpredictable. Now here in the C wave, uh, we also have a good view of the overall count and the expectations are being followed through. It's just that the micro count in a diagonal always needs um, yeah, close attention basically. So my take is that we had a wave one to the downside already, which bottomed here on the 20th of July. Then this ABC structure in a wave two, so the wave two of the wave C, that we now that we came down in three waves in an A wave. We're now moving up in a B wave, which explains the let's say substantial recovery, and then we should get one more low in a C wave. Again, ideally into this region, roughly, roughly in a diagonal. That's again getting a little bit more difficult. 1808 to 1826. Then we should get one more lower high in a fourth wave and um, another low in a wave five. Ideally ending somewhere around the golden ratio, 1780, maybe touching the trend line here, which is moving up. But yeah, not too much more to update. I mean, this wave count is now valid as long as price stays below 1905, this swing high here. If we get above that level, then we have to consider some of them. Maybe, maybe then. The overall low of wave two is already in, even though I'm not primarily primarily looking for that at the moment. Here, I would then need to look at the structure. This is always possible because um, whenever these trend reversal areas are reached, I mean, that's why I call them like that, because the trend is expected to reverse. But ideally, not yet. Ideally, it's going a little lower. Also, because Bitcoin hasn't entered its support area, I still look at lower for Ethereum eventually. Yeah, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.